is for us to cut sword for construction works to commence on the 18 kilometer Katani to Nabuli Road. This road has been on the drawing board for quite some time now. And I know the importance of this road because it's a gateway from Kushegu to Yuyo and to Cheriponi that opens into the Republic of Togo. So here we have a customs checkpoint here because there's likelihood of you know exports and sometimes smuggling through this place. It's a major route that we need to work on. The contractor has 18 months within which to complete the work, but I have requested that I don't have patience for him to spend that much time to complete the project. And he has given me firm assurance that in view of the very importance of this road, he is likely to commence and complete the road within the next five months. And I thank him for that, you know, assurance. In addition to this project, we are going to cancel again for another 18 kilometer road from Toti Junction to Damankon, also in this constituency. Currently, there's work ongoing on a 13 kilometer road from Zantili through Lunlua to Chimboni. Altogether, that's about 50 kilometers of roadworks going on in the Concomba part of the constituency. The another contractor doing the road from Mualugu to Zinendo, nine kilometers. That road has been completed. We are about to commission the road for the public to commence usage. Currently, they are using the road. And there's also another 30 kilometer road from Drebla to Katanga through Galway that has also been com completed. All concrete works have been done. And next month, February, which is our oh, okay, today is February, first February. This month, we are likely to complete the work and also, you know, hand over to the Department of Feeder Roads. Gusegu Town Roads, tarring work is going on. There are some areas that have never been tarred before. For the first time, we have tarred those parts of the road. About three portions of the Gusegu Township Roads have been done. And also, for the first time, we are seeing bitumen being poured on the road from Karaga to Gusegu Township. Now, that road is also receiving bitumen for the first time in the history of the constituency. And today, when you leave Karaga on your way to Kushegu, it takes you just about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, then you are in Kushegu. That is the extent of work that we are doing. When the contractor hands over the Galway to Patina Road this month, he will demobilize and then move to site to start and complete the Naluao to Nawogu road, which is about 26 kilometers. Work is going on on the Gushegu Hospital Road to Gushegu Township. And next week, I'll be coming to Gushegu with directors from the Department of Highways so that we connect the road from Eastern Corridor to Fargo's Junction to the town, uh, to the market square. For us to now get the entire Gushegu Township road will be tarred for the first time in history. Yesterday, the contractor is again moving to site in Gushegu Township to fix the Sochi Fong Road that will also connect to uh, Nakwago and then Kunai and then link the entire Gushegu Township road by, by, by bitumen. So this is just by way of road network in the Gushegu Township. And I also mentioned to the people the number of employment opportunities that are brought in terms of, you know, security sector, teachers, uh, GPHA, maritime authority, local government, and so on and so forth. These are opportunities that were not available to the people until I became the member of parliament. And when I wanted to become the member of parliament, I told them that I'm making a very firm commitment to them that I'm going to do my work in such a way that any time, any day, wherever in the constituency that I want to go to, I won't have any fear. And that is what I'm doing. I don't fear any part of the constituency because I have blueprints in those places.
everywhere in the constituency. And I thank the people, the chiefs and people of Katani, the Mwambani, and then the Nabuli lecture area. And of course, I thank the, the Katani regents. I thank my grandfather, the chief of Nabuli, who saw the vision that Tampuli is the person who will become the member of parliament for us to benefit. Today, a lot of people now go to him. He has become the maker because he's a visionary and they have to go to him. The things that he can see, many people cannot see. Pay visits to the construction site to check with the contractors where they need to do the road in a way that will be beneficial. You go there now and not wait until the work is completed and say that, oh, the contractor should have done this or you should have done that. The time is now. So every now and again, please, you can visit the contractor. But I want to issue 